if you see the measurements in place so it is located in the equatorial region whereas the equatorial region lies between the latitudes of 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south the equatorial degrees almost all equatorial region lies between 0 to 10 degrees 0 to 10 degrees of both the hemispheres north as well as south Useless for us The South American rainforest of the Amazon is the largest in the world, covering about 55 lakh square kilometers with dense forest. The Amazon basin is bound by the Guayana Highlands in the north and the Brazilian Highlands in the south. Yeah, this Amazon basin is the biggest basin in the world. Amazon basin is bounded by the Guiana Highlands in the north and the Brazilian Highlands in the south. Yeah, Guiana is Guiana Highlands in the northern direction, whereas the Brazilian Highlands in the south. In between, the Amazon basin is located. Amazon River flows through the equatorial region in South America. The Amazon, which rises. The South American rainforest of the Amazon is the largest in the world, covering about 55 lakh. The Amazon basin is bounded by the Guayana Highlands in the north and the Brazilian Highlands in the south. Amazon River flows through the equatorial region in South America. See, this is like the Andes. The Amazon, which rises in the Andes Mountains, is the world's largest river in terms of discharge and the second largest in terms of length after nine. It covers a distance of about 6,400 km before draining into the Atlantic Ocean. The Amazon and its tributaries form the largest volume of water. The Amazon accounts for about 20% of the total water carried to the oceans by the rivers. Amazon forms the largest river basin in the world. A river basin or the catchment area is the portion of land drained by a river and its tributaries. Countries lying in the Amazon basin are Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, and Venezuela. A tributary is a stream or river which flows into a main or parent river. It does not flow directly into the sea. Amazon is made up of over 1,100 tributaries, 17 of which are not longer than 1,000 miles. Some of the tributaries are Branco, Eni, Juruba, Maroro, Nani, Puris, etc. Mouth of the river is the place where the river flows into sea, ocean, lake, or any other river. The Amazon region was discovered by Spanish explorers. They were attacked by strange looking people who wore headgears and grass skirts. These were the natives of the Amazon basin. The natives reminded them of women warriors of ancient Rome, who too were ferocious and were called Amazons.
The climate of the Amazon Basin is heavily influenced by its tropical location. It has an equatorial type of climate. The annual rainfall in this basin is approximately 150 to 250 centimeters. Heavy rainfall always in the equatorial basin receives heavy rainfall. That is annual rainfall between 150 centimeters to 250 centimeters. So generally the rainfall is very very high in this region. The variation in the temperature is not too much. Day temperatures reach 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, while the night temperatures reach 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Sun shines for the same duration of time every day. So here, especially in the equatorial region, that is the temperature, especially in the daytime, day temperature always 30 degrees centigrade to 35 degrees centigrade, and whereas night temperature is between 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. The Amazon basin experiences basically two seasons rain and not so rain season. Temperature is moderated by the cloud cover and high humidity. This type of climate is known as the Sever climate. Let us now learn about the rainforests of the Amazon Basin. Amazon Basin has the largest rainforest on the earth. It plays an important role in regulating the global weather. The basin produces a significant amount of oxygen for the world. Amazon Rainforest Chief characteristics of the Amazon rainforests are Sunlight is not able to reach the floor because of the thick roof. See, sunlight is not able to reach the floor because of the thick roof. That means that much densely the forest is almost entire. Forest floor is clear of vegetation because of darkness. The canopy not only is sunlight, but also rain and wind. There are relatively smaller number of ground plants because of the lack of sunlight on the floor. Countless saplings can be found. Orchids and lumbians grow as plant parasites. These are the common plants, yes, which are good. Archers and blue rice grow with plant parasites. Wildlife of the Amazon rainforests. The Amazon rainforests have more species of animals than any other terrestrial ecosystem. Among mammals, monkey, sloth, and tapir are found. Tukam, Macau, and Hornbill are found. Among reptiles, green tree pine, boa, and chameleon are found. Among amphibians and fish, poison blue downfall and piranha, the flesh eating fish, are found. Among insects, millipede, Butterfly and beetle are found. Amazon has a long history of human settlement. Some indigenous tribes still live in the rainforests. They obtain their food by hunting, gathering, fishing, and cultivating. Men usually hunt and fish, while women look after the growing crops. Some make hunting crops and send it to the tourists passing through. 
The Amazon rainforests are very sparsely populated. Natives generally live in thatched huts shaped like beehives. Other houses constructed by the people have steep slanting roofs and are called Maloka. People of the rainforests obtain their food by hunting, gathering, fishing, and cultivating. Men are usually involved in hunting or fishing. Women are involved in agriculture and hence look after the growing crops. Agriculture in the Amazon rainforests, slash and burn agriculture, is widely practiced here. Agricultural feed is prepared by cutting down the trees. The cut down trees are allowed to drop. So since here the area is sticky cover, so therefore people generally we cut this entire area and burn it and the entire field is prepared for cutting down the trees and they are allowed to thrive. So once monsoons are harvest, then they start coming and do the cultivation. So this kind of agriculture is known as slash and burn agriculture. Slash and burn agriculture or you can say jimmy. Before the rainy season, the trees are burnt into nutrient rich ash. Burning also eradicates the pests and weeds. Farming is done on this land until its fertility reduces. This patch of land is left for a while to regain its nutrients. Another patch of land is then cleared and burnt and the farming continues. Major crops that are cultivated are tapioca, pineapple, sweet potato, cashew and Brazil nuts. Staple food is manioc, also known as cassava. Cash crops like coffee, maize, and cocoa are also grown. Trans Amazon Highway. It was constructed in 1970 to reach the remote areas of the rainforest. It stretches from the Atlantic coast to the border of Peru. The main characteristics of the Trans Amazon Highway are third longest highway of Brazil is 5,300 km long, has indirectly caused deforestation of a large area. Important factor in the economic development of Brazil. There are many ways in which these great forests are destroyed. So these are cutting down the trees. Trees are cut for the cultivation of 